one trait I've always had was wanting to know the unknown. I had this great desire to always figure things out. And what attracted me to the Everglades the most was it's just vast, it's endless. And literally, it looks the same today as when God created it. It has not been touched by man. This time of the year, the fish actually move into the Everglades when the weather is right. It's never a shoe in You're always fighting. You're always trying to figure something out. You're never really going to figure everything out, every aspect of it, which is why it keeps you coming back. So it's very special when you can hit it right because it's not something that happens very often. It's something that definitely takes um, a little bit of luck and a little oh. bit of cooperation Ooh, with Mother yeah. Nature. Nice. Coming up. Woo! Nice. Got him. Good job, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's finally paying off, nice, bro. Nice, man. <laughs> Hit him. Woo! Nice. Oh, hey. Hey. Just like that. I'm gonna put the time Yeah! Give it to him. Give it to him. I gave it to him. Give it to him, son. <laughs> Give it to him. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I got it. Got him. <laughs> now we're getting caught up. Now we're getting caught up in a world. <laughs> I have assembled to dedicate to the use of all the people for all time the Everglades National Park. Here are no lofty peaks seeking the sky, no mighty glaciers or rushing streams wearing away the uplifted land. Here is land tranquil in its quiet beauty, serving not as a source of water, but as the last receiver of it. To its natural abundance, we owe the spectacular plant and animal life that distinguish this place from all others in the country. An odyssey can be described as a long, wandering, and eventful journey. Bo, Rob, and their friends are on an aquatic odyssey living on motherships and avoiding dry land for days on end. The chance to throw flies at tarpon have brought them here. Here's a fish, Carlos, at nine o'clock. That and the opportunity to detach from society and share time with friends in this vast body of water and mangrove jungle. A day in the glades is made up of what happens between coffee at sunrise and cocktails at sunset. The time starts when you set foot on the deck of the skiff and ends with a smile on your face as you dock back up to the mothership. Do I go north or south? Out here, you just get in the skiff and see where it takes you. What is that, George? Did you see that? Yeah, what is it? I saw that thing, it was like a little roll. Next to me and on my boat is uh, my good friend George Martinez. George Martinez by trade is a marine artist, but by hobby and by way of life, he is a sick fisherman. Just a, a definitely one of the guys that has caught the bug, thinks about fishing all the time, always trying to make different flies, innovations to the game, thinking about things that could make it better or that would make it easier. Ooh. See? Oh. Ooh, look how slow he was moving. You saw that? Going away. And uh, so he's just eaten up by the game, just like I am. They're in here, though. I saw him right here. Right when we're about to leave. See how they decoy us and suck us right back in? Always. Always, dude. They come and roll right around the boat. George, I'm gonna turn you and just pick it up and launch it right over his head. Beautiful. Oh. 
Negator got one on. <laughs> oh. Did I lose him? No, he's on. Put your rod tip in the water so you don't have all that slack. I'm telling you, put the rod tip in the water. It'll help you clear the line. There you go. <laughs> nice job, George. <laughs> I don't think he's got it in him to jump, Buzzer. I just keep pulling on him. All right. He doesn't have it in him. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? Yeah, we're having fun. Reel down on that sucker. Get that release. Caught. Nice. I'll tell you one thing. Cannot beat this ending to a day. Cannot beat it. I mean, look at where we are. This is as good as it gets. You got some spunk, though. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> This fish has got some good fight in him. Yeah, he does. Nice and easy. Man. Great shot, George. That cast you made is Thank you, bro. deserving, dude. Thank you, brother. Yep. You worked hard today. For this yeah, guy. man. You earned it. You earned that. What do you know? George hooks up. The fish stays on. Hello. And uh, after half a dozen Hello. insane jumps and a, and a great fight, yeah, yeah. We land the fish minutes before dark, you know, exchange a high five, it, definitely folks. a morale awesome. booster, awesome, and uh, makes the, the ride back to the Blue Moon Expeditions boat much, much more enjoyable. We felt a lot lighter, at least the boat felt like it was a lot lighter on the ride back. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend, by Sea Deck Marine Products, your boat deserves Sea Deck, Patagonia, fly fishing apparel and gear, and by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. When we started running the mothership trips, we offered the Marquesas and the Lower Keys and we were going all over the place. And uh, more and more our clients wanted to fish here and this area we can come in here, we could sit in here in pretty much a hurricane in these rivers. You're sheltered, you wake up and you fish before anyone else is here and you come back, we have lunch, you take a nap in the middle of the day if you want and then go back out in the afternoon to fish till dark. Hello. At the end of the day, Bozo. Look at the color on that thing, huh? Yes, sir. Hanging out on the boat's pretty neat. You really get like a lodge experience. Everybody comes back and you hang out in the salon and uh, we cook dinner right on the cockpit of the boat on our big green egg grill. It's just a great place to hang out and talk about what you did over the day. One of the best things about the Everglades is that you're in an area, you in the Keys, you're surrounded by people and development in Miami the same way. I mean, but right here, you feel like you're in the wilderness, which you are. I mean, there is no one around. You have so many different bird species and the dolphins and manatees. I mean, you can sit on the mothership right now and watch them around us and tarp and roll through here. I mean, it's it's a great experience. Trip it, easy. Easy, easy. Keep tripping, keep tripping, keep tripping. If you could pick one place in the world to catch a tarpon, the Everglades is it. You hook one here and they go ballistic. I mean, they're airborne most of the time and they wear themselves out fast. It's just the ultimate fly target. You get a warm couple days in the wintertime and it can be pretty epic. I see the clouds rolling in. One just rolled right there. You saw that? Right there? Yeah. See him? It's a whole bunch of them right there, yep. George. <laughs> moving right? Yeah, moving right. But I really don't think they're moving at all, man. See them? Yeah. Bubbles just came up, right where they just rolled. The craziest thing about George and I's relationship is that we have grown older together. <gasps> George has a daughter now. He's gonna have another kid very soon. When I met him and when he met me, I mean, we were just chasing tail and, and both tail on land and in the water. And, uh, and we were just having fun. <sighs> Was that a comer or a goer? <laughs> what? Just throw it at those. Go ahead. 
See? Turn. I'll turn. Just go ahead, really get in front of those bubbles. Oh, great cast, great cast. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead, go again. Oh, you got an ID on him. You need him a little more left this time. Nice, dude, very nice. Got him. Great job, George. Great job, dude. How about that for a sneak attack? Sneak attack? <laughs> See that bite? <laughs> I saw him shine into the water. <laughs> nice job, man. Well done. Thank you, Bozer. You're welcome, man. Thank you. Nice, George. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of a special thing now because when we get to go out on the boat with each other, we used to fish together all the time. Now we don't yep. get to fish together at all anymore. So now all of a sudden we get to spend three or four days where we're staying on the Blue Moon Expedition's boat and, uh, and getting to wake up and literally step off the side of the boat onto our skiffs and drive out and go fish this area that I've got so many memories of fishing with my dad when I was a young man. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Isla Morada, the sport fishing capital of the world. By Deep Eddie Vodka, dive in. Nautilus Reels, tested on animals. And by Maverick Boats, fish the legend. Got him. What a bite, George. You it looked that? like someone took a, a Q beam and just slid it about four and a half feet across that bottom of the water there. It's coming. Nice, George. Good rod work there, George. Thank you, sir. Well done. It's coming up. Breakfast coming up. I need to 
just grab them whenever. Take your, take your time, you got them. You're loose, you're loose. Got him, got him, George. I got him, George. I got him, George. I got him. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a mean bad boy. Yeah! <laughs> nice. Good job, Bozer. Good job to you, George. It's nice to get out here early in the morning and find them. You know, make it happen right away. It takes the pressure off the day and. Man, these fish are short and fat. Boy, dude. they are short and fat, and they are pissed. They're pissed. They got some I mean, anger you're, on you're them. You're giving them everything you got. Yeah. Nice job, man. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Great job. Very cool. He hunted that fly down and chomped it, dude. Big time. Hunted it down. I'm telling you, it looked literally. I was looking over just pretty much dark night, and all of a sudden, I just saw fly. that Q beam just go. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay. ready. She's ready. See ya. Oh. Now that I've just gotten another shower this morning. <laughs> yeah, it's finally paying off, nice, bro. Man. <sighs> Woo! One of the unique things about the fishery in the Everglades, this time of year especially, you know, January, February, early March. That's probably the bad angle. Let us think. Is what I believe are these giant female fish. Just like that. Fish over 100 pounds, all the way up to 170, 180 pounds. Come in this brackish water to stage before they go off and spawn. If you happen to hit that lucky window where you get a warm few calm days, it is epic and it's, and it's the best tarpon fishing we have all year. Good job. Excellent job. Big fish. Well, I had a layup. That one. Jeez, that's a pig. Look at that fish. Coming right here under the boat. To the right, hard right. Gonna be behind us here in a second. There he goes. Out of three. Running out of line, Rob. Running real low. This is only a 10, you know. I know. Oh, God. Right now, right now, right now, right now! <laughs> Be sure and log on to SilverKingsTV.com or WaypointTV.com to watch past episodes and stay caught up on the series. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Vimeo. Season two! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You know, Carlos and Leslie Duncan, I've known now for close to 20 years. And uh, between the two of them, I fish them 35, 40 days a year. Head shake there. There, he just blew some air there. Yeah. I fished with Carlos so long that we're almost like a unit. I mean, he's almost like an extension of my hand and vice versa. You'd strap him in a tournament? Oh yeah, that's, that fish is close to 100 pounds. Come say hello. Jeez, look at how thick his head and shoulders are. For you to be able to be that many days, that many years with someone and, and experience that many cool adventures together. All right, here we it's go. It's a special bond that, that can't be created with anybody else. Didn't like that change of angle. Here we go. Here we go. Hold this left. Nope, got the head back. Big head. Woo! That's a big head. Good job. Good enough. Good job. Awesome. That was a great Look fish. Look at that. Go it was in the, the hinge. Shot. Yep. You roll them around enough like that in the hinge and it's going to break eventually. Yeah, it went through the 60 instead of the tippet. All right. Good job. Nice fish, bud. That was good. Good job, Les. I, awesome that was a good job. fish. I Sometimes I wish record. they'd just come I out with the hands up, but I'm they won't. I'm actually holding the pole on the boat and I have not gone in the water yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this. Are you crazy? Put the camera on. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, Zipper! Zipper! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god!